how does a flow control valve works? What is a flow control valve, right? The hydraulic schematic for a flow control valve would be something like this. We have a line, we have a restriction, and we have a variable control over here. That is a flow control valve, the hydraulic schematic. Now, if we want to put a bypass, uh, a lot of the valves, not all of them, uh, but in many occasions, uh, it's desirable to have a bypass. Uh, some other occasions are not, but that would be a bypass valve on the directional control valve. Now, that's the hydraulic schematic of the valve. How does it work, uh, the valve itself? Uh, let's see if we can draw this here. Basically what it is, is, is a tube. It's, it's just the valve body over here. And it has a, sc a screw, you know, just like a, like a faucet, just something like, like something they turn on and off. That's, let's say that's a screw with a handle on top. And so that's the screw over here. And as you turn the screw up and down, uh, there's a seat on the bottom in which it seals. If you put it all the way down, the screw sits on the, st on the seat and it cut off the fluid. You turn it, you, you open it up, there's more space in here and there is uh, no flow restriction and, and the flow uh, can go without a problem. Uh, you close it down and you reduce the amount of flow uh, that is going through the orifice or you put a restriction on it until you close it all the way down and you can restrict it to nothing, right? Now, if you want to put a bypass valve, uh, we can do an addition to this drawing over here, uh, but basically, let's say this, this is the same valve body, and within the same valve body, not to say that uh, that is there somewhere, uh, you have a check valve. The check valve, all of this is the entry of the valve, the whole thing over here is the entry in and out either direction, right? But the check valve is going to check flow in, in one direction. So you have a puppet often or a ball or it can be it could be different different ways on how the, uh, the check valves are, are built. But let's say that you have a, a ball over here. On this side, you have seals. You, you have a restriction, a sealing restriction coming on this side, which will be this arrow over here. So when when flow comes in this direction over here, um, it cannot go through the through the puppet because it pushes the puppet against the seal area, and there is no flow going in this direction. It can only go through here, but it does not go through here. It cannot go in this direction. Now, if you have it come, if you have flow coming in this way, the restriction is going to be the screwdriver. There's the screw that you have over here. Uh, you turn it up and down. But in this other direction, you have more of a free flow. You don't have a ceiling restriction that you have on the other side. You have a restriction so the ball or the puppet doesn't, doesn't carry all the way outside the valve, but you have orifice, non-sealing orifice that are big enough to handle the flow coming in the other direction. So you have a free flow from one side. It doesn't matter if the needle valve is open or closed, but in this direction, you have a check valve and you have the restriction of the flow control. So that's basically how a flow control works. Uh, that is uh, that is a flow control, a, a restricted flow. 
by putting some sort of resistance by by cutting off the flow on the system and uh, these are very popular valves uh, we have actually yeah we do we have it in our website uh, some information some catalog on different sizes of flow controls um, there may be bigger smaller in other uh, manufacturers maybe uh, but uh, these are very popular uh, sizes that we have for flow controls and uh, uh, that's that's where you can find it so anyway guys that's the video for today um, hope you may have like it uh, make sure to subscribe if you have any questions about hydraulics or industrial products uh, you can always uh, visit our website information somewhere in here and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.